David Castleone from Colby Gallery, Seattle. I'm going to show you guys the TerraSpan Ultra Series lift and slide door. So lift and slide doors are built for massive panels to be stacking sliders. And lift and slide means that you're going to lift the panels up onto the rollers before you start rolling the door. So here we are in the lock position. We're going to turn the handle 180 degrees, lifts the panel off the, off the tracks onto the rollers, and you start sliding the door system. Now you get to your secondary panel and that'll slide open as well. And then, so this can slide into a pocket or onto a stationary panel. We can have it going one direction as well as in a bipart where they open separating from each other. We can go into pockets as well as 90 degree or even off 90 degree configurations. So this option as a finger pull allows you to basically close your door or pull it out of a pocket. So you can see with one finger, I'm able to pull this 300 pound panel across the tracks, collect the secondary panel and slide that door closed. So very easy action and operation on this door. And so panels up to seven foot six wide by 12 feet tall and how we're able to achieve those large sizes maintaining that slim four and a half inch profile is this heavy gauge fiberglass core. So designed for heavy weather and impact rated systems, you've got your extruded aluminum to the exterior, which is available in all the Colby colors, as well as any wood species to the inside. So we're also offering a lift and slide in all aluminum with a very similar looking profile, but you have the aluminum on the inside and the ability to do a single track with a direct set fixed if you want a very modern look. So this unit, we've got a factory applied coffee bean stain over alder and a custom PDL design through the different panels in a two and a quarter PDL with a beveled interior. Also available with a square profile on the inside. And on the outside, we've got a mica paint system. So here we've got our flush mount weeping sill with the door. So that's going to shed water to the outside of the tracks. And so it's going to be an exposed sill. And then we do have the option of doing our recess sill, which you would just see the visible tracks and you could have finished flooring between the tracks. The weeping sill allows, this is an air hole as well as a water weep hole and then it would weep water through a drainage tube to the perimeter of the outsides of the, the door system. So on the outside of this, we've got a mica paint applied to all the units in a six foot wide by nine foot tall panel. So again, we've gone very massive with these sizes, limitations up to seven foot six by 12 foot tall panels. We've even pushed the limits of that before as well.